Hi everyone, and welcome to exercise 2, Illustrations. This unit should take approximately 25 minutes. We begin this unit by explaining to students a basic framework for creating illustrations. The general idea here is that any individual illustration should not be overwhelming to the viewer. The algorithm suggests doing this by breaking topics out into separate diagrams. First, illustrate a big picture of the system, then illustrate subsystems in as many additional diagrams as needed. The next two slides illustrate the algorithm in practice, creating a simple version of the big picture. It is important to reinforce at this point that the students should keep the big picture diagram as simple as possible. I like to simplify this idea by telling students that they should be able to describe the diagram in five bullet points or fewer. On this slide, we talk about the next part of the diagram algorithm, illustrating the client subsystem from the last illustration. I like to reinforce the algorithm idea by stating that a similar diagram will be created for the server subsystem. To preempt any questions, I usually also mention that depending on the complexity of the system, they may need to further break down these subsystems into additional big picture and subsystem illustrations. When you get to the exercise, make sure students understand that this exercise will be broken into a discussion and a practical portion. Make sure that students are also keeping the audience in mind throughout this exercise. This exercise focuses on DNS or domain name servers. There are several good YouTube videos under DNS Explained if you want to brush up on this topic. The first discussion question you should post to students is, why is this a problematic illustration? If the students are stumped or the discussion is not flowing, consider suggesting some of the items in the speaker notes to trigger additional contributions from students. If the discussion really doesn't get going, suggest the other items in the notes and move on. If it doesn't come up in this discussion, make sure to bring up accessibility and diagrams. There are several resources that you can direct students to in the speaker notes. Try to keep this discussion under three minutes. On this slide, we present an improved version of the last diagram. You should first discuss with students, why is this illustration an improvement on the last one? Then you should move on to ask, what flaws are in this diagram? Or how could we further improve this diagram? As on the previous slide, you can seed the conversation with items from the speaker notes or fill in holes at the end of the discussion. Aim for these two discussions to take a combined total of five minutes. Next, we move on to our application of the discussion. Show students this paragraph and ask them to illustrate the paragraph. Make sure you click next before having them begin as the next slide gives some help for finishing in the constrained time period. As a time-saving measure, we provide students with the good and bad diagrams from previous slides as a base. Students can find the good and bad diagrams as Google Drawings by going to the specified URL. If students do elect to start from scratch, they can use Google Drawings, Jamboard, pen and paper, or use some other illustration tool that they're already familiar with. Have students return to their partners from the last exercise and give them about two minutes to compare answers and discuss any decisions that they may have made. If the room is getting too quiet, you can move on to the class discussion early. Bring the class back together and ask students if they or their partner had any interesting points in their diagram that they want to talk about. Show students this possible solution and ask them what they like about this particular solution. Then ask students what they don't like about the image. You can see the answers from the speaker notes as needed. And remember to remind students that this is just one possible solution. Conclude this lesson by reiterating that illustrations should tell a story and that that story should be consistent. There are additional details in the speaker notes. As this is the halfway point in the class, I tend to give students a two to four minute break after this unit.